Hey guys, and we're on. It's Zaylee Barclay of ZayleeBarclay.com, and I am also the creator of the Start Shoot Grow Video Academy, where I teach businesses just like yours how to really use video to really stand out and attract the right people online. Video is so powerful. If you're not using it just yet, I suggest that you take your time and dive into my content because I do have a lot of goodness for you. And I also really share a lot in the academy as well. I'll say the Academy is hosted on Thinkific. I am a Thinkific expert and partner. I love Thinkific. I've been using it for years. If you don't know about my Thinkific story, I had a chance to share that on video and I will link that down below. Today, we are talking about communities. Oh my gosh. Listen, the team is probably tired of me. I was like emailing like, yo, when is this coming out? Because I could not wait for community. Why? Well, so there are a few reasons why. Well, first of all, let's back up. Let me tell you what Communities is. It's actually a forum type feature inside of the Thinkific platform that they recently released. I'm so excited. I don't know when, the last time I was excited about a feature was when they released assignments because I thought it was so genius. And so now I'm here talking about uh, Communities again because I'm excited about it. I have a video on assignments. If you haven't been using assignments in your Thinkific school, head down below, click on that video and get your life. However, <laughs> so it's this forum and I'm gonna take you uh, through mine, obviously show you a bit about it because I like doing an in-depth walk from the instructor side. And I like to show you what the student is seeing as well because I think I would like to see that if someone made a video about something that I was interested in. <laughs> so it's definitely an awesome feature and so I like it because I'm able to now move my people from Facebook, which listen, Facebook has its pros and cons, but think about it. You also are dealing with a lot of people. If you're in a Facebook group and you're using it to host the people in your course, I'm, I promise you, it's definitely um, easy for people because they're on Facebook all day, but I am not an advocate for someone being on social media all day. And so I like to move in line with my core values. If I feel like social media is not for us to be on all day, but it is for us to use as a tool, then I would love to have my people in a hub where we can have a focused conversation, right? And I feel like in Facebook groups, there's so much going on. One, there's so many distractions because there's like a whole, uh, what do you call that? A column where they have other coaches and other groups and other, other things going on and it's easy to get distracted. So I feel like if you have a forum inside of your course uh, platform, it's just genius. So Thinkific has incorporated a really simple forum type, you know, feature, content type, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I feel like moving my people from Facebook over to communities is just going to be so genius because we could have better conversations. Um, they don't have to filter through other people's stuff to see my stuff. And I can go on and on and on about why this is just so awesome. I also feel like if you have a course, this is just an added bonus to your people telling them that they have a place where they can find, you know, you and each other and really communicate and create community is like, <laughs> hello, why not? So before I listen, I can go on and on and on about how excited I am, but let's just dive into what that platform looks like. Um, and I'm going to show you first from the instructor side. So what it's going to look like for you creating a community and also like how, you know, you're the moderator and a few things you can do. And then I'm gonna also show you what it looks like from the student side and what they actually see. So I've also, I'm showing you my back end account, but I'm also signing in from a student account that I created just so that you can see what it looks like from their point of view and what they're able to do. And I tested a few things. So we're gonna walk through that right now. Okay, so here we are. 
We are on the back end of my Thinkific account. And so to get to communities, what you've got to do is hit support your students, right? So if you have a Thinkific school, then this looks familiar to you right now. And if you go down a little bit, by the time you're looking at this, communities should be released and should be in your account. Hopefully it is. <laughs> and so you can click on communities and create a community, right? So let me just walk you through what creating a community... Ooh, Oop, there we go. See, I told you it's super fresh. So you guys are actually seeing that I got that notification. Hey, Gary from Thinkific, shout out to you. Thank you. <laughs> and so I am actually going to show you what that would look like. So up here you would see new community. And what you can do is just create that new community. Gary, Gary, we got this. We got this, Gary. <laughs> so I am going to name this community just learners or something, you know, and I can create a cute little description um, and I'm going to name it people who want to learn. And so then what I'm going to do is I love that you can give access to logged in students, right? People who are logged into the site. So you have to log in. I do like that. Or you can only give access to students who are enrolled in a specific course. I think that's really smart as well. And obviously you can have it for only you. I guess that's for testing and, you know, seeing what's going on before you actually give access, which is cool too. So then we can move over to uh, choosing a color, a primary color that you would like for your community to be. So let's just go with black for now. And then we can select a font. I'll just choose, let's choose railway, right? And I like that different communities can have different colors and different fonts. So you have, if you have two communities, they can, ha they can look different just in case you have students that are in more than one community. And then you can also upload an image, which is going to be, you know, the kind of like a logo. So I am actually going to probably just choose something really simple that I have set up already or that I've used before. And oh man, this is so good. And so you crop it to the size of your liking and then you upload it. So your community is now all set up. Wasn't that super easy? I think that was really easy and I really appreciate that, you know. So I'm just going to change that to logged in and we are going to save that. Right, so now you see how you can set up your community. I think it's so smart. I'm not too sure why I'm not able to save. Choose a color. Oop, here we go. Let me make sure and choose that color. Maybe that's why. So I guess you want to make sure you're doing all of this and you have all of it set and then you can save. Now here you would get the link for your people. So you can copy this link and add it to an email or send it to someone so that they can dive into that community. Now I have a community all set up. So let's see what that actually looks like, right? So here I have a community that I created as a test. And so I wanted to see like what it would look like on the inside of the community. And so I added like a few videos. I wanted to see if we could share links. So let's say you have a link to something that you want to share with your community. I wanted to see what that would look like. And I also wanted to see like, so this is me posting as a student and not as myself. And so I wanted to see like, you know, if they can ask questions and what that would look like. So you can also pin and unfollow. And I know that Thinkific is going to add more features to this afterwards, especially when people start testing it and start seeing the way that it can work for them. So I do like that, you know, they're always open to hear what you have to say. They're always open to improvement. And I do appreciate that about the platform. So you're able to unfollow or unpin something. So if something is really important, you can pin it at the top, kind of like a bulletin, bo bulletin board. I'm so excited that I'm talking so quickly. And so, <laughs> or you can unfollow something if you don't want to be pinged about it. So I like that what we can do is dive in and actually see what was shared. I feel like this is really cool for sharing different types of content for, to your community, even if you have a YouTube channel or if you want to share something inspirational and motivational or something that is relevant to your course content. I also love that you can 
actually comment here. So I feel like people will be commenting. So you would just click comment. I'm not gonna comment just yet because I'll be commenting as me, which I kind of did here already. But I guess, you know, it would have a thread under the content, which I think is pretty cool. One thing that I do wanna test and I will make a video and upload it is doing webinars in communities. I'm definitely gonna test that. I haven't tested it yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't work if we're able to embed videos. So if you wanna see that video, definitely let me know down below if you're interested in you know hosting live classes in communities. Let me know if I should put the time into doing that research and creating that video for you. So then uh, the next thing that I like is that we're able to just upload pictures as well, right? You never know. Um, and I also like that we're able to add downloads. So let's create a new post and we can see what that looks like. So you would put the post title. And let's say it's hello friends. Ooh, obviously can't spell friends. And then so you would have, um, you know, whatever you wanted to write, hi introduce yourself below which i think is so cool and then you can add an image a video or a file that they should download so think about homework or something that you want your people to get together with you and do i think it would be pretty smart to do something like that right and then you can just create the post so it can be a text post or it can be um and so remember, it'll come in under that pinned post because this post is pinned. So this I might use for like a welcome or something. And so here I'd be able to introduce myself um, below if I was a student because, you know, the moderator said you should introduce yourself below. <laughs> so let's look at what it looks like from the student side. So. I have that opened up already. I have a test account set up. And so that is this account right here. So this person is seeing this as, you know, if they've logged into the community and they see that um, this is what it would look like. They see that logo that we created. They see, you know, the goal of the community, which I think is important. You could probably even put some, uh, which is something good to test, some guidelines or community rules in that description spot. I just thought about that. That would be pretty handy handy so that people always see it and are reminded to be kind to each other because sometimes people aren't kind and so <laughs> then the next thing that you would do is you would you know scroll through so remember this is a pinned post and so since it's pinned it's the first thing that your people will see right so even if this is a picture or a reminder or something that you want your people to be mindful of I think that's a great place to put it and so I asked, can we share links, <laughs> which, um, you know, I wanted to test as a student. Let's say I have something to submit or something that I want people to see. I wanted to see if you're able to share a link and the links are clickable. So I was really excited about that as well. So you can definitely click into it. Let's say they're asking for feedback for something and other people can come in and give feedback and comment and things like that. Right. And so you're also able to follow or unfollow if you don't wanna know anything about the post. So I guess the person that asked the question would be following the post. Also, uh, you know, they're able to scroll through. So the view is kind of the same thing. And so they're able to see things in sequence. Something that I would love to see is more categories for organization. Let's say, you know, someone wants to organize something in a specific way. I think that would be really smart. And I also think that another great thing to add would be a search function so that, you know, we can search for things like, let's say a question was answered before. I think that would be pretty cool too. If you would like to see search and, you know, more organization as far as categories, let me know down below in the comments, see if, you know, we're on the same page of what that would look like. Anyway, guys, so I think that, you know, that was my review of communities. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, I would love to hear from you down below. As usual, Thinkific is on top of it. I just love that platform. I love the software. And I just love that, you know, they're constantly growing and adding new amazing things. I want to get to know you a little more down below. I want to know what your Thinkific school is about or if you're thinking about creating one. And I also want to know... Um, you know, what do you enjoy most about teaching online? Anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Please do take care, enjoy. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up, 
subscribe and I will see you soon. <laughs>